Hello and welcome to the movies and much more. Uh, in today's video, I have a news for uh, House of Dragons Game of Thrones prequel. So the news is about the first episode, the pilot. Uh, compared to the Game of Thrones first episode, uh, the House of Dragons prequel status poses a new set of problems in its pilot episodes that. HBO or the writers gonna overcome. HBO's House of Dragon palette has opposite problem and challenges from those of the original first episode of Game of Thrones. Uh, the upcoming prequel is based on the George R. R. Martin, The Fire and Blood. The Game of Thrones prequel will cover the most tremendous civil war in the Westeros, taking place hundreds of years before the start of Game of Thrones. Instead of focusing on the Starks, uh, the reign of the Targaryens will be the center of the stage. After the weariness of the Game of Thrones finale, fans will not like will no longer simply flock to any Game of Thrones related content, but uh, Game of Thrones must prove itself to be worth watching immediately. Several other spin-offs were considered and a pilot set during the Age of Heroes was shot before being scrapped. The decision to move forward with the House of Dragon is a smart one as Dragon themselves are a huge audience to draw. The prequel will reportedly include at least 17 dragons and a future House of Dragon must take care not to waste. The Game of Thrones palette had to introduce an entire world and quickly create enough empathy for its characters that the audience would stick with them throughout the show. So this fanta uh, fantasy storytelling that lined up with Game of Thrones had never succeeded to such degree on television. By contrast, House of Dragon setting is are clear already, Westeros is still Westeros regardless of where the show lands on the franchise the overreaching timeline. The prequel challenge is to establish the stake early with the dramatic irony of Game of Thrones, that audience already roughly knowing how everything will turn out. Those uh, familiar with the Game of Thrones already know how the, how the house will fall. And they know how the wheel breaks. The palette needs to re elevate the emotional stake to make the journey still worthwhile. Enough information has leaked uh, about the famous and terribly unaged palette of the Game of Thrones to establish that uh, the characterizations were primary reason the episode was scrapped. It was not made clear that Cersei and Jamie were brother and sister, making the shocking ending where Jamie throws Ban Bran out of the window confusing rather than the gasp inducing. Additionally, both Danny and Kathleen Stark uh, were recast with Emilia Clarke and uh, Mitchell Farrelly respectively. And the women were re rewritten to inspire more empathy for them. Particularly, Danny uh, rapes in the heir's palette was added to clarify her motivations. While uh, the detractors of this idea point out that uh, the scene was consensual in the book. The choice certainly creates uh, the kind of Im immediate compassion that could carry less fantasy living. Uh, members of the audience through our story. So the main point is uh, when anyone is turning into House of Dragon should be prepared for Martin's style of fantasy instead of leaning into the, its relationships to its producer. The prequel needs to stray away from the self-referential tendencies that hurts Game of Thrones season 8 and carve out a new identity for itself. Characters such as Daemon Targaryen, the Matchmate, and King Viserys, Pazzi Considine, already feel larger than life due to their historical context within the largest Game of Thrones canon. What the prequel needs to focus is on bringing further death to its world and making it clear that it has something new and compelling to say about the Westeros.
so the uh, house of dragon prequel has to prove him itself the first episode of the pilot like we know how the story goes in game of thrones but if it is the same it can be problem for the house of dragon show so that was the good video guys let me know what you what your thought about it and please subscribe and support thanks for watching bye bye